guys, what's going on? Redstorm's Assassin here, bringing you another quick Minecraft video. So, um, I know I'm a bit late on this, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. Uh, Merry Christmas, guys. Um, I haven't uploaded it in about a week, so here's another video. So, what I've built for you guys today is another trap. Um, one of you guys' favorites. Um, they die. Yep. Free sugar cane from Santa. Yep, since it's Christmas time, I'm going to say it's from Santa, even though it's from... Redstorm's assassin. So it says press the button to get sugarcane. So press the button and they die, but I don't want to die, so I'm going to keep the system. So it's very simple how it works. Uh, you press the button here, and it actually does work. I just have to stand here and not let the water push me back. As you can see, uh, without it crushing my face, um, the pistons actually do pop off the sugarcane, so it's completely functional. It just kills them at the same time as long as they stand there they'll get their sugar cane or candy cane whatever it is <laughs> so the button all it does is you can see these two doors open up here and the middle column pushes you or goes down to suffocate you what it actually does is since it suffocates you automatically get pushed out towards the sides because the game is programmed to do that so you don't suffocate whenever something falls on top of you like sand or gravel. And uh, I took advantage of that by putting holes right there so it'll push you right into the lava and you will die. So you fall right in. Which is deadly. I'm going to go ahead and show you the wiring now behind all of this which is quite, quite simple. It just was annoying to try and cover everything up. So as you can see, all the side doors here, it covers it up quite nicely. It's not supposed to be there, but I made it look like it is. So when you press the button, on the other side, there is wiring. So I'm going to go ahead and hop right in there so you can see everything quite nicely. So the button is right behind this right here. So this links over here, and the redstone links into the three pistons, I'm sorry I can't count today, but the three pistons are already extended due to this gate here, which will um, retract, and it is delayed so that it will open after the top column of pistons has pushed you down. And the rest of this actually just links up here to the pistons that control the sugar cane. Wonderful. So let's go to the other side. And as you can see, you can, um, there are s the wiring down below, so you can actually see that. And this just links around here and comes right over here to the other side. Same thing, exactly, pretty much, except I just reversed it and almost copied and pasted, but I actually built it myself. So this comes. Oops. My bad. Now I have to fix that. Let's go over here and do that. So it links around this way, comes down, and does the same thing over here. So this is very simple. Um, there's one more thing I guess I could show you. Let's go back up here make sure I didn't break anything. Okay, we're good. So over here, up top, we'll just break this here. And under here we have the pistons that push down where as you can see there is no delay on them so that this will push first before the floor opens up and I think that is about it so I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to comment rate uh, give it a thumbs up so that that will help me a lot because I really do need the help kind of yeah, never mind. And I also would like to wish you a very happy new year into the year of 2012. Alright, uh, see you guys next time, and uh, peace out.